Uh, hello everybody, uh, this is a short video uh, class about pattern and annual cycle or a seasonal cycle. You see, this is a very often asked question. For example, question about the decennial cycle. This is a cycle that is that is based on a 10 years pattern, like annual cycle based on a cycle uh, uh, like annual pattern 10 years ago. It's uh, today is 2022, so uh, 2012. Uh, plus um, 20 years ago, 2002, uh, or next year is uh, 1992, and so on. Or another example, for example, uh, somebody see similarity between this year, 2022, and some year before, for example, uh, 1980, uh, 1991, and so on. Uh, how to calculate this annual cycle? Uh, we call this cycle uh, patterns, a pattern annual cycle. Uh, one more thing you see, I mentioned here annual cycle and seasonal cycles. Um, astronomic, astronomically speaking, this is not exactly the same. Uh, annual cycle, this is from zero areas to zero areas, sun ingress zero areas this year, and sun ingress uh, zero areas next year. Uh, while seasonal cycle, this is from uh, January 1st to, to January 1st next year. But you see the difference between uh, annual seasonal cycle. Now it's not uh, so significant. For example, now if you analyze about 100 years plus history, the difference will, it will be just a second about one day and a half, uh, less than two year, uh, days. Uh, but uh, the difference between annual cycles getting uh, more important when we analyze. Uh, 200 years, uh, years price history, it will be uh, about three degrees, uh, three days. So, so far we will do not make difference between annual cycle, annual, annual cycle and seasonal cycle, but uh, next generation, uh, they should to do that. Okay, let's do it. Uh, you see, this is, uh, this is, uh, I have the load already, S&P 500, and let's first calculate uh, uh, the annual cycle. Uh, do it simple. Uh, click astronomy button, and um, I will display this cycle this way together with price chart. And you see, uh, to calculate pattern and cycle, we need to use um, this button. Just uh, click here, so choose this second panel, panel, and click here filter. You see, uh, using filter, uh, we'll, uh, we'll analyze not all years, all, all available price history, but some specific years. For example, uh, this uh, annual cycle, it is, it, it is based on all available price history. Now we will do filtering. Uh, click this button and you see uh, to uh, calculate uh, um, this annual cycle, click this uh, choose this item option calendar calendar okay and uh, in calendar there is uh, option the decimal pattern you see by default this is uh, uh, to, uh, x x x2 it means that to calculate annual cycle we will use uh, this year's x x2 uh, 2012 uh, 2002 1992 and so on so this it will be annual cycle uh, with um, based on uh, pattern x x x2 the single cycle here this is how it looks now next example how to calculate uh, annual cycle based on some specific years uh, you see here there are many op many um, tabs here so uh, check more tabs here and there is one tab specific years okay i will remove this all this stuff and now i will type some specific years uh, uh, for example, uh, let's say it will, it will be 1982, 1991, just an example. This is not trading example for sure. Uh, 2009, uh, 2015, and so on. So you can uh, type any cycle, uh, any years here, and now you will get uh, and all cycles based on these specific years. As you see, this is very simple. Thank you.